Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In view of the prevalent COVID conditions, you are requested to adhere to the COVID appropriate behaviors like wearing masks properly, washing hands frequently, maintaining social distancing, and avoiding crowded places. Now, in the headlines today, Surajini Award function organized at Air Conditioning Department. Three students of Ispath English Medium School, Sector 20 of SAIL, RSP, qualifies NTSC examination 2021. And in our Azadi Ka Amrit Mahasav series, today's personality is Padma Shri Sanjukta Panigrahi. Now, the news in detail. A program on Surajini Creativity Scheme was organized for the employees of Air Conditioning Department at RNC Lab on 25th January. Mr. M. Mins, GM, AC presided over the meeting and presented the awards to the winners of the scheme for their valuable suggestions. Present on the occasion were Mr. B.K. Behra, AGM, IED, and other officers and employees of the department. In all, 34 suggestions were awarded, of which 19 have already been implemented. Cash award to the tune of rupees 4,000 have been credited in the accounts of the recipients. Implementation of these suggestions has led to one-time saving of rupees 46.05 lakhs along with several intangible benefits. More than 50 new suggestions were generated during the Mela. Mr. Behra briefed the gathering about the status of Surajini in the plant and department in particular. Mr. J. Prushti, Senior Technician AC, coordinated the event and also proposed a formal vote of thanks. Three students of Ispath English Medium School, Sector 20 of Sale, Rorkila Steel Plant, have brought laurels to the Steel City by registering remarkable performance in the National Talent Search Examination 2021. The Metria students are Ms. Sangeeta Sarangi, daughter of Mrs. Pushpanjali Sarangi and Mr. Devrat Sarangi, Senior Technician HSM1, Ms. P. Amrita, daughter of Mrs. Jyotsna Rani Panda and Mr. Pramod Kumar Panda, Master Technician, Shops, Structural and Fabrication and Mr. Aditya Prakash Shetty, son of Mrs. Rani Sh Reena Shetty and Mr. Ram Chandra Shetty, SOST, SMS2 Department. The brilliant students were felicitated in a ceremony organized on 24th February 2022 at IEMS Sector 20 in which Mr. Banamali Kar, Principal of the School, Mr. U.C. Patnayak, Senior Manager Education and Guardians of the students were present. Mr. Kar appreciated the efforts of these students and teachers of the school and the parents of their contribution for their contribution towards the success of the students. Mr. Patnayak praised the dedication and determination of the students. The students in turn profusely thanks the the teacher and parents for the guidance and uninstant support. It is worth mentioning here that Amrita aspires to be an engineer while Sangeeta and Aditya Prakash are aiming at becoming doctors. As a part of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahasa celebrations, Sail Rorkla Steel Plant is presenting a series of news on eminent personalities of Odisha and today's personality is Padma Shri Sanjukta Panigrahi. One of the biggest stars in the firmament of Oriya art and culture, Sanjukta Panigrahi was born on 24th August 1944 in Barampur district of Odisha. She was the first Oriya girl to learn and present this ancient classical dance form at an early age. 
Sanjukta Panigrahi, the legendary Odishi dancer, maintained the true custom of Odissi all through her life. The dedicated dancer played a pivotal role in reviving the Odissi dance form in India and popularizing it abroad. The turning point of her career was her win in the International Children's Film Festival in 1952. She was married to vocalist Raghunath Panigrahi, another luminary in the field of art and culture, who was rendered, who used to render music for her performance. She was honored with the Padma Shri Award in 1975. The Sanjukta Raghunath duo created a wave in the artistic firmament and they were presented with the Sangeet Natak Academy Award in 1976. She was also a part of government's cultural delegation to different countries including USA and UK. This doyen of ODC dance died at the age of 53 on 24 June 1997, thereby creating a massive void in the field of ODC dance. That's all for the news today. Namaskar.